The lifestyle of 28 consumers in the G20 countries has led to the premature death of one person worldwide. Scientists have quantified the responsibility of consumers living in the G20 countries for the level of global mortality caused by the suspension of solid microparticles and the smallest droplets of liquid in the air. New simulations by scientists from the National Institute for Environmental Research in Tsukuba, Japan, and the University of Sydney at Camperdown, New South Wales, Australia, have shown that excessive consumption and production of major economies has caused nearly 2 million premature deaths worldwide due to exposure to PM2.5 microparticles. The study is published in the journal Nature Communications. Among the many environmental problems affecting human health, the greatest danger is the inhalation of suspension of particles and droplets with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers or less abbreviated as PM2.5. The World Health Organization estimates that in 2016, respiratory and cardiovascular diseases, as well as cancer caused by exposure to PM2.5, caused approximately 4.2 million early deaths, that is, before life expectancy was achieved. Most of these deaths occurred in low- and middle-income countries. With 91% of the world's population living in areas where air quality is below WHO standards, according to them, the average annual concentration of PM2.5 in the atmosphere should not exceed 10 micrograms per cubic meter. The loss of global labor due to premature deaths associated with microparticles cost the world $225 billion in 2013. To assess each country's global footprint, the researchers examined air pollution levels and associated health effects in 199 countries, and then linked it to trade and consumption of goods in G20 countries. In 2010, the level of consumption there led to the premature death of 1.98 million people worldwide due to lower respiratory tract infections, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung cancer stroke and coronary heart disease. 78,000 deaths occurred in infants. Most of the early deaths occurred in China, 1.195 million, and India, 0.907 million, and they were also responsible for the impact on other countries. In addition to China and India, the United States, Russia and Indonesia left the largest trace. And in all of these countries, with the exception of the U.S., their own citizens died prematurely. The average age of premature death was almost 70 years. However, in South Africa and Saudi Arabia, for example, the rate has fallen below 60 years due to high infant mortality rates. 11 G20 member states have caused over 50% of premature deaths abroad. The share of foreign deaths was 7.6% in China, 13% in India, 62% in the United States, 38% in Russia, 13% in Indonesia, 96% in Saudi Arabia, 85% in Canada. Consumption in the United States had a significant impact. On China, 38.7 thousand deaths prematurely, India, 12.9 thousand deaths, Mexico, 3.9 thousand deaths, Russia, 2.1 thousand deaths, as well as on the United States itself, 52.9 thousand deaths. In addition, the impact of the Americans extends to non-G20 countries such as Bangladesh, 2,100 deaths, and the Philippines, 1,500 deaths. They are among the 10 most affected states. According to scientists, in general, the consumption of 28 people in the G20 countries will lead to the premature death of one person worldwide. And the greatest contribution here is made by China, the footprint of 20 Chinese citizens is equivalent to one life. Of course, besides microparticles, there are other types of air pollutants. So this is only the tip of the iceberg, the researchers summed up. Stay tuned for more updates.